inside the tiller here we have two separate circuits um, completely closed circuit all refrigeration happens out here the two separate circuits each system has seven kilos of refrigerant to put that in perspective your average uh, barbecue gas bottle has about nine kilos of refrigerant so it's not an awful lot uh, as you probably saw in there we have our leak detector in the case of a leak that will pick up the refrigerant and shut all power to the outside unit to kill any kind of ignition source all right on this side firstly we have your emergency shutdown uh, anyone on the on the roof in case of an emergency don't hesitate to hit it uh, worst case scenario we have to come and start it back up better to be safe than sorry any other issues call us on this number same again no hesitation, no problem calling us. Inside here we have the heat exchanger. So propane comes in here against the flow of glycol, comes back out and back to your compressor. So all propane is on this side of the plant. Glycol comes out here through these pipes and out to the factory. So on that side it's only glycol. Now in the case of a refrigerant leak as you can see all the sides are open to the wind. Explosive or flammable limits are between 2 and 12 percent by volume of air so you have to have a very small amount of wind and an ignition source for us to have any kind of fire at all and even in that case be similar to a barbecue or a big lighter, not an explosion. Okay, here we are inside the cool room. This is the fix area. We have five fan boil units. Running inside those units is just chilled glycol, uh, pretty much water to the label. Come out here through this door. Important to remember. In the case of a fire alarm, any other kind of emergency is your emergency shutdown. So it's a smash blast and that that'll kill all power to the outdoor. 